Hey guys, Boom Boys here, and today I get to do something very special in the state of Oklahoma, and that is ice fish. This is something I've never done it. I don't know many other people in the state of Oklahoma that have been able to safely ice fish, but we just came out of one of the worst storms in Oklahoma history, and yeah, it's affected a lot of people, man. It's killed a lot of cattle. It's done a lot of things, but one thing it has done, it's given me the opportunity to get out here and ice fish. So I've already tested to make sure it's safely to go out there. We're on four to six inches of ice a day. And who knows, we might just catch a state record bass today ice fishing in Oklahoma. So let's get going. So we just came out of one of the worst storms in Oklahoma history and it has frozen our ponds and I checked them a couple days ago and they're anywhere from four to six inches deep in the places I plan on ice fishing today so we're good to go I'm making sure I'm bringing my life jacket I've got some ice picks just in case but with four to six inch ice it's completely safe to go out there but I'm super excited it is it is probably one of the most exciting times in my fishing career if you could say that to get out here and ice fish in Oklahoma it's something that I don't know if many Oklahoma people have been able to ice fish and this storm even though it's been a brutal storm you know it's killed a lot of cattle um, you know we're just not prepared for this in Oklahoma but it's allowed me the opportunity to get out here and do a, a fishing trip that's a once-in-a-lifetime fishing trip for me so we're gonna get out here the boys and I today, we picked up some minnows. Hey, hey sir. Hello. I need some minnows. Oh. We're gonna start off using those minnows to try to catch some largemouth bass ice fishing. So, who knows, today we might just catch the state record largemouth bass ice fishing. Who knows, that might only be one pound and maybe five pounds. I don't know of anybody that's ice fishing in Oklahoma, so it may be any fish. Today, I actually took today off because today and tomorrow are probably the last two times that we have to catch a fish on the ice safely. So I had to take advantage of that. I took off from work to use one of those precious days that we get off, but it was well worth it. I'll tell you that. Catch a fish or no catch a fish, it was worth it. So here's one of the spots that I checked two days ago. Right here, I just tested out there. It's anywhere from four to six inches out there. I really didn't go. And you can see out there, I tested out there as well as a couple other ponds. But I'm gonna try to stay in here and maybe even test a few by those sticks to see what the, what the depth is. So first thing is first is you gotta be safe on the ice. It's something that it's no joking matter, especially down south. We're not used to this. You know, it's not like the northern people where you guys, man, you get, 20, 30, 40 inches of ice and, and it's normal to drive out on it with vehicles here. You know, we're not used to this. So it's something that's exciting, super exciting to get out here. So for my gear today, I've got four poles, tackle with spoons. I've got a shovel to break the ice. I've got a net to dip the minnows. I've got life jacket. I've got ice picks to go around my neck. I've got my drill with two batteries with a wood bit to drill through the ice. I have four catfish pole holders. And I've got a saw to cut the hole after I drill through the ice. These are a couple of my test holes I've already done with this drill bit. This is garbage, cut the ice. Man, I honestly didn't think this is gonna be that difficult to break through. I would, I would have brought a chainsaw or something. Finally got the hole kind of cleaned out. You're the lucky winner today, boss. Right here, I've got a green spoon here. I'm just gonna just hook that through the back of this minnow. Let's go fishing. We're gonna put that down in the water there. Yeah. 
to increase my chances, what I'm going to do is I got these pole holders that we use for catfish, just for bank fishing. And I'm going to stick it in the ice here. I'm going to drill a hole and put it up. And I'm just going to let this dead stick. So I'm just going to kind of figure out where I may need this. Stick that in there like that. Let's go drill another hole and increase our chances. To drill as many holes I want to drill today, there's just no way that this is going to work. I've got to get something that is going to actually break the ice. I'm just getting soaked with this. It needs something, you need something that's going to, you're going to break straight down. Because if not, you're just going to, you're just going to get soaked and you're spinning your wheels. So I'm going to get something that's going to more break the ice. Okay, so on the way back, I got this icebreaker and Here's another pond that I had tested out over here and plenty thick. This pond is very murky at the best. It's usually, you know, muddy. So I'll go ahead and throw a pole out here, break the ice, set a pole out with one of these pole holders and hopefully we can increase our odds here. I've just got a jig head, just a jig head here and then on it drag out a little bit more drag this pond is really really shallow normally it dried up and we actually did a video of the first time fishing this pond after the rain came and filled it up we came out here and just tore up the bass where they come from obviously somewhere across the road there was a pond somewhere that put fish in here. Hopefully we can get these large mouth to bite. It's cold, but man, we've we've caught a lot of bass in the cold. You know, fishing slow, jigging pigs, but never, obviously with the, the pond frozen over. So. so I'm gonna mix it up here. I've got two jig heads on here. So I'm gonna put two minnows on here and see if, if that can increase our chances. I'm gonna put this one through the mouth. Hopefully with two minnows, We'll increase our chances man guys i want to tell you it's just a such a surreal feeling fishing on ice it's something i've never done um i know my brother up north that lives in minnesota he does it but down here in the south it's something that it's so surreal being out here and and having the opportunity to catch a fish through ice and not being on a boat it's just such an amazing feeling i tell you what unbelievable Was clean darn something hit it so so far guys I've had these poles out with the minnows for probably about three hours no bites zero none normally I mean they're not in a bad area we catch fish here all the time I mean you know from the bank a lot of times you know by this that tree those trees over there I mean while we have them now granted you know it's not as deep here as it would be in the middle but Again, I mean, I don't want to take the chance of going out that far with the ice not being as thick as I wanted it to be, but you would have, you would think that the bass would be around though, but uh, we're going to keep after it and keep plugging away. I'm going to find a new area and I'm going to spoon a little bit and maybe try some different baits besides minnows and see if we can trigger a bite. So we got the hole chopped right here. And uh, we're gonna see. I can't pull something up. So I just pulled out another camera, and we're gonna stick it down in these holes, and we're gonna see what's down there. I probably should have done this about four or five hours ago. But uh, man, after not catching any fish for a while, uh, I went and got the camera and we're gonna stick it down these holes and see if we can't see some fish. So we're on hole number three right now. So let's stick it down this hole and see if we can't see something.
so I just reviewed the footage and I saw what you guys just saw and didn't see much much in that hole so a little discouraging but uh hey we're at the second hole now and we're gonna stick the camera down this hole and let's see if we can't see anything Man, that was really cool footage. Uh, really cool to see the pond, and it's not as clear as it normally could be, but it just rained quite a bit before the storm hit, and so the water's still a little turned up from that. But we're gonna go ahead and stick this camera in the very first hole that we knocked out this morning, and let's see what we find in that hole. just reviewed the footage from the first hole and not many fish there so whoo i tell you what it's a little discouraging but um but it's okay i tell you what man it's beautiful to be out here i mean look at this i mean we're on a pond i mean in oklahoma and as you can see there you may be wondering why i'm not just plugging holes everywhere right you can see it's a little slushy there. I still think it's like two or three inches of ice, but it's starting to melt. That is why I am not just plugging holes everywhere. You know, I mean, man, if it was that, I'd be punching holes all around these ponds and, you know, I'd be finding these fish. But I tell you what, we're gonna get back at it tomorrow and we're gonna find a few more spots and see if we can't get on some fish. So we'll see you in the morning. So it's the next morning and uh, what a beautiful day. And this is gonna be the last day that we can be on the water. So we're gonna see if we can't catch some fish. I already see the poles out here. They're still out there. Looks like we had a little friend here. Oh, this weather's a little bit too rough for him. Huh. I don't even know what kind of bird that is. Wow. I've duck hunted for a long time and man, it's got webbed feet but uh it's got a beak on it so i don't know maybe if one of you know what this is but poor guy i guess he's gonna be an easy meal for the coyotes which they probably need it right now it's been a it's been a tough stretch try not to break my line here well this is what we came up with our spoon's still there, but the man is gone. And uh, I don't know. Here we're at the second hole. Oh, look at that, guys. <laughs> we got one. Woo! We are not defeated, guys. Look at that. Mud cat right here. This is one of the smallest mud cats I've ever caught. <laughs> I tell you what, I, I, I'll be honest with you. I was not expecting this. I was hoping for this, but I was not expecting this. This isn't much of a fish, but you know what? <laughs> I'll take it.
So here we are at the third hole. Feeling a whole lot more victorious at this hole that we're going into the previous two. So uh, actually I put snow over this hole. I know that's what sometimes they do uh, up north, but <laughs> it seemed like it made it worse. It seemed like it made it a big frozen pile. But. my lines I should not have put snow on top of this I made it a big ice oh my goodness Oh man, did I break my line? Nope. Man, it's so hard to see where the line's at to not break it. Really hard. I bro it's broke off, guys, at the bottom. I bet you anything had a fish on it. Looking back, I probably would have pulled it away from these sticks a little bit further, tighten up the drag, so at least have a chance where it didn't get tangled up if you got something. So we're gonna leave this hole and uh, find new water. I found a spot that's pretty, man, so far I've did test holes out there and I know about right there is about 10 foot deep, about halfway seven foot deep. What I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna put poles out in different depths all the probably way out to that tree. I know this is a good spot. We fish this spot in the winter time, casting from here, and we catch fish. So I'm really hoping this spot's gonna produce for us. So let's go put some poles in the water. Man, it's harder than what you think. Breaking down some ice, good exercise. I guess we'll use that ice there for weight. <laughs> oh. So this is the third hole I've dug, and typically this spot is is pretty good. It's pretty deep. But who knows? You know, with these southern fish, you know, they may not be used to this kind of weather. Part of me is thinking they're just clumped up in a big hole huddled trying to keep each other warm i don't know that they're not out scavenging for food so been out here about oh four hours or so still no bites fishing i'm gonna go into town and i'm gonna go get my boys and bring them out here and we're gonna have some fun out here while we set these poles out so i'm gonna let these poles sit out here for a while go get the boys and we'll see you back out here all right so i picked up the boys and they didn't know caught a fish yet so i'm gonna show them the mud cat and let's see the reactions. Hey boys, caught a fish. I caught a fish. Yeah, it's in this bucket. Right now? Yeah, it's in this bucket. Oh no. It's in no, the bucket. I did. Are you sure? I did, look at that. Oh, a little catfish. A little mud cat. <laughs> Can you believe it? <laughs> a mud cat. A mud cat. Can you believe it, guys? <laughs> My mud cat. Look at that. My I don't mud think cat. I've ever seen one. I came out here trying to catch the state record bass and I caught the smallest mud cat. <laughs> Let's let it go. Where's the fish we've caught ice fishing? You want to let it go? Yeah. Okay. No. We can yeah, put yeah. in the tank. No. For, uh, the last one died in there, so that one will probably That's a die. good idea. How about we let it go? Okay. okay. All right, I'll put it through the ice right now. Okay. okay, buddy. You got a free pass today. Oh, there you go. All right, guys, so it's the end of day two. I tell you what, it wasn't how we wanted it to turn out, but at least we didn't get skunked. We caught that one fish, so super excited about that. But I think before the snow mall melts off, we're going to build a snowman right now. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please consider subscribing to the Boom Boys, and we'll see you on the next one of our videos. All right, see you next time. Right, right. boys? Let's build a snowman. <laughs>
Do you want to build a snowman? Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, no. That wants your mind. <laughs> oh, come on, sissy arm. Let's go, sissy arm. Sissy arm. Sissy arm. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> oh, sissy arm. Oh. oh. Woo! Their arms are getting a little better. All right, Jumper, get to this. <laughs> it broke the stick. <laughs> Out of the way, Jeremy. And boys will be boys. We'll see you next time.